Hi, welcome to the third video in Understanding Transformers. This is Sri from Techie Talks AI. In the first video, we saw how input text gets converted to subwords. Then those subwords get converted to tokens. In the second video, we saw how these tokens get converted to meaningful vectors called embeddings. That happened here. Welcome to third video where we are going to understand what this is. Okay. So how transformers understand order without losing meaning. In our introductory video, we saw transformer architecture revolutionized by parallel processing information. Cat sat on a mat in case of RNN or LSTM. These words sequentially enter the process. Whereas in case of transform architecture, the entire sequence parallelly enter the process. So moment it gets converted to subwords and embeddings, they all get processed together. So there is no order. And you know that in case of language, order is critical. Cat sat on a mat. The order of these words is critical, isn't it? Otherwise, we lose the meaning. So embeddings capture the semantic meaning of individual words, but their order also is important. So welcome to Techie Talks AI. Today we decode the entire mystery behind positional encoding. That is, modulate our embedding, modulate the sequence of embedding vectors with positional information. We will also look at the more advanced rotary encoding and why adding waves to vectors does not change their meaning. Why we need positional encoding? Transformers have no sense of order. Cat sat on the mat shuffled in random order. That is how it enters the model. We say self-attention is permutation invariant. Without positional encoding, the model treats all tokens as if they came simultaneously. Transformers see all words at once, like staring at a cloud, not a sequence. Transformers don't read left to right. They see everything together. And that is why it is very powerful. Without positional encoding, the order is gone. The meaning is gone. The contextual meaning is gone. We add a positional vector to the semantic embedding to give the token a location tag, just like adding GPS to the pictures we take. This is the core trick. Add a tiny mathematical tag to each word embedding so the model knows where it sits in the sentence. Positional encoding is not one sine wave. For example, 1536 dimensional embedding, there will be 768 sine waves and 768 cosine waves. A stack of waves from slow to fast. So here's a picture that depicts the frequency change for each dimension. Remember, this picture is for what gets added to one embedding vector. So embedding vector will have multiple dimensions starting from 0 to whatever dimension, like 0 to 1535, five, for example. These different waveforms are for different dimensions. So each dimension pair has a different frequency. Low dimension, slow waves, high dimension, very fast oscillations. It's like playing many musical notes at once. The combination uniquely encodes the position. Think of positional encoding as a symphony of waves many frequencies all mixed together to encode order to the collection of embeddings. Positional encoding is not one sine wave, a stack of waves from slow to fast. Each dimension pair has a different frequency. Low dimensions, slow waves, high dimension, very fast oscillation. All these waves are there for every position because every position has got this multidimensional embedding. So it's like playing many musical notes at once. The combination uniquely encodes the position. Think of positional encoding as many symphony of waves, many frequencies all mixed together to encode order. This is initially confusing to students because the dimensions get mixed up with the positional order. So again, the frequencies stay fixed. Phase moves with position. That is for every position when I say position, the order of the words in the se input sequence, for every position, there are multiple frequencies for each of those dimensions. 
So positional encoding does not increase frequency with position. It only moves along the waves or phase shift, like these embeddings walking along a spiral staircase. Steps don't change, but your position does. Frequencies are fixed. What changes is the phase where we are on the wave. Do these wave complete 360 degrees? No. Some cycle many times, some never finish even one cycle. Different frequencies ensure both local and global ordering resolution. Fast waves detect fine details, slow waves detect long range structure. Together they capture distances of any scale. So what exactly gets added? For example, 1536 dimensions, every pair has a sine and cosine wave. So dimension zero has a sine wave, dimension one has a cosine wave. Dimension 2 has a sine wave, dimension 3 has a cosine wave, etc. up to dimension 1535, starting from dimension 0. So there are 768 frequencies, each frequency encoded across sine and cosine channels. Each dimension pair is like a clock ticking at different speed. These sine-cosine pairs are tiny clocks ticking at unique speeds, marking each position. But how does the model recover the order. Phase differences encode the relative distance. When self-attention computes Q and K, it's also able to extract phase differences. So in a watch repair shop, you see several clocks. Looking at them, you will know which is ahead and which is, which is fast and which is slow. You get it? The model never recovers the absolute position. It senses who came before and after through phase shift. And then comes rope, rotary position encoding. Rope was introduced in 2021 in the paper Row Former Enhanced Transformer with Rotary Position Encoding. It has become very popular in modern language models. Instead of adding waves, rope rotates each embedding pair by an angle, which is position into frequency. It's like spinning the vector slightly for every new word. Rope is the modern upgrade instead of adding waves you rotate the embedding. So the rotation angle grows linearly with position for each frequency, like turning a dial a bit more with each new word. As position increases, the vector spins, the relative spin encodes order. Why rope is superior? The query key vector, which we will see in subsequent videos, reveals relative position exactly. So the angles encode distance directly, perfect for long contexts. Rope makes relative order mathematically perfect. It directly encodes distance in rotation angle. And the million dollar question, why positional encoding does not change meaning? Meaning lives in huge space. Positional encoding is a tiny structured ripple. Large semantic cloud, small waves get added to it. Semantic vector magnitudes are huge. Positional waves are smooth and tiny. They don't disrupt semantic similarity. Like adding a faint watermark on a big image. Meaning is massive. Positional encoding is tiny. Meaning stays intact. Two orthogonal subspaces. Semantics and position live in, in geometric styles. Model can easily separate the two because they look nothing alike. One is handwriting and other is a printed barcode. You will never confuse them. The model cleanly separates semantic space from positional space. Like two voices in stereo, you can hear both clearly. Attention naturally splits meaning and position. So nothing gets overridden. The positional encoding magnitude is tiny. Semantic direction barely changes. There is multidimensional embedding space. Each direction has a semantic meaning. And this barely changes. Same face, slightly brighter lighting, identity unchanged. That is, even after adding positional encoding, the cosine similarity stays the same. Or cosine similarity of the embedding before adding positional encoding and after adding positional encoding stays near one. That means there is no change in similarity. To summarize, the meaning preserved, order added. Transformer understands both. That is embedding plus positional encoding, the attention phase understands. 
This is the elegance of postal encoding and row. Order is added without harming meaning. I have practical demonstration of embeddings in three part series of ECLLM part one, part two, part three. Part three has visual explanation of embedding dimensions and you can alter the, the values and see the similarity changing. That is very unique and very interesting. Now welcome to the lab just to compare the sinusoidal embedding and rope embedding. This demo code will be given in the description. So we compare both types of encoding. So here we have the base embedding. This is a demo embedding of dimension 16, which is the base embedding of a token. Now this can be cat or this can be mat or ran or chased or whatever. This is one embedding. If it is sinusoidal encoding, this cat's embedding will become this. If this cat falls on position zero or the first word in a sequence of tokens, that is the same embedding of cat, this vector will become this. We are only showing first eight dimensions. If the same cat falls on position two in the input sentence, it will become this. Are you getting? If it is position two, the third word or third token, it will become this. So that is what this highlights. If it is sinusoidal position encoding, if it is rope based rotational encoding, this is what happens. Position zero, catch embedding becomes this. Position one, catch embedding becomes this. That is what this highlights. So here we have side by side comparison. So this is for position zero. And this is when sinusoidal en encoding happens. And this is when rope based encoding happens. Embedding gets altered slightly. In case of rope, it rotates. In case of uh, sinusoidal, phase shifts. So we covered input getting converted to tokens. Then we saw adding embedding or semantic meaning. Then in this video, we talked about positional encoding, that is adding the order. We are all set to enter the attention part of transform architecture. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Apply these tips and level up today. Smash like if it helped. Subscribe to Techie Talks AI for deep dive and drop your biggest challenge in comments. Ready for personalized one-to-one -one Zoom sessions? I mentor just few students on cloud coding, DevOps, no code solution, AI agents or electronics. Tailored to your goals. Limited slots. Book via the link in the description before it's gone. See you in the next video.